Amanda Breckenridge. I just wanted to tell you today that I had a stroke at age 35, and we've been asked the question from the Powered In Stroke, uh, what would we do or what would we say to ourselves if we could go back before we had our stroke? Well, like I said, I was 35. In my case, I was healthy. I was at a great weight. I had good blood pressure and uh, I ate healthy and exercise. I did all those things. But um, I had an aneurysm that ruptured and it caused me to be blind and, and uh, loop, you know, I couldn't walk or talk or do anything. But if I could go back before that happened to me, I would see the signs that I had, which were, um, I was very dizzy for about a year off and on. And the, dizzy, the dizziness wasn't normal. It was more like I couldn't even hardly get out of the bed. I was so dizzy and I was unstable. Uh, I was a nurse and I still ignored the signs. I would go back to, and I would tell myself to get that checked. Even a CT scan would have been able to, most likely would have been able to show the the blockage that I had in my brain and the aneurysm and they could have got to it in time and fixed it and I wouldn't have had to go through all the horrible things that I went through uh, because I wouldn't have gone blind, I wouldn't have had to learn how to walk and talk again, I wouldn't have lost my left vocal cord, uh, so many things. But please don't ever ignore uh, the signs of stroke and those can be headache, dizziness and it may come on slowly, it may happen over the years. But keep your blood pressure checked. Uh, look for signs of dizziness. Uh, exercise, eat healthy, and just be smart about it. And um, the signs of stroke, just remember fast. F for face, which could mean that one side of the face may be drooping. Um, A for arm which can mean that maybe one side where your arm won't work as good or won't move. S for speech, slurred speech, and T for time. Time is everything in a stroke. If you suspect that you or someone is having a stroke, please call 911 or seek medical emergency immediately. Do not wait and don't ignore the signs of stroke. Stroke is affecting 700,000 and more in the United States alone per year. Someone every 40 seconds to 45 seconds in the United States alone is having a stroke. In the world, every three seconds, someone is having a stroke. 160,000 plus people are dying every year from a stroke. And did you know that more women die from a stroke than they do from breast cancer? So this is to be taken very seriously. You cannot ignore the signs of stroke because it could mean your life. Thank you and have a blessed day. And I have a stroke in July of 2003 when I turned 40 years old, and it was not the surprise party that I was hoping for. Um, I did want to tell you, though, that I did not have the normal symptoms that you would have, but I did have really bad headaches, and I did go to the emergency room. So my point here is that I did not get a second opinion, and, and that's what you need to do sometimes, is get second or third opinions. If you're not feeling well, please get it checked out because you don't know and you don't want it to be too late like it was almost too late for me. I ended up in a coma and paralyzed on my left side all the way but with lots of my physical therapy and faith and just determination. I am walking again, I'm driving, I'm back to work two days a week. It's been a long haul but I'm here and I made it. We are survivors. Go back and talk to your younger self what would you do different to improve your health? Don't be afraid to go to the doctor. It's more scary after you have your stroke. What else would you do? I'd do a whole lot of things. Like what? Have more fun. No, so you can stay healthy. Watch my diet like I do now. And don't be one. I don't, know. don't be afraid to what? Don't be afraid, afraid to go to your doctor. Because it's more afraid when you end up with a stroke and in the hospital scared to death. And what you gotta go through afterwards. It's not worth it, is it? It's darn well not worth it. Mm -hmm. so everybody go to the doctor and have yourself checked out, please. When did you have your stroke? 
2010. Mm -hmm. Almost. 29. Almost two years ago. Yeah. And I'm still struggling, but I'm doing pretty good. But it's still hard. I have a lot of pain, which I never knew you could have pain when you had a stroke. Pain in my hand and in my foot. I had mine on my left side. I'm trying to do things with my right hand, which is a challenge, but I managed pretty good. Because you're left-handed, right? Yes, I'm left-handed. Where I was. And I sure miss my left hand. Where's your left hand? Right here's my left hand. Oh, you're going to get some right here. Right here's my left hand. And I sure miss it. I think I missed it more than my foot. I fold towels with put towel ends up a towel in my mouth and use my right hand to take take the other one put that side in my mouth and fold them all up. And I cook. But it's it's not like it used to be. I just wish I could get up and walk in there. And now I could kick my butt every time when I go to the doctor and have my blood pressure checked. And I even had a friend that wanted to check it. And I wouldn't let her. I was scared to death. Now look at me. It's not nice being like this. So if you guys can prevent the stroke, please do it. Okay.